Welcome to Maths Companion. Today, we are going to discuss a new chapter. Before we start, let us look at the picture. We have to draw this picture as it is. Our picture must have the same size and shape of this picture. How can we draw it? We have to take measurements. What are the measurements needed? We need the length of each of this line. We also need the angle between them. There is another way without actually measuring the lines and angles. You may have drawn figures using grids in your childhood like this. Just like this, let us draw grids. These are lines which are drawn at equal distances. And this equal distance is called one unit. It can be one centimeter or two centimeter, whatever it be but it is taken as same everywhere and it is called one unit. This is the middle point of this picture. If we cut horizontally through this point, we get two equal parts like this. Again, if we cut vertically through this point, we get four equal parts like this. Now we can draw the parts one by one to complete this picture. Let us take the first part. We can draw this picture by looking at this again and again. Suppose we are shown this picture only once and then it is removed. How can we draw it then? Let us mark all these points and join them together to get this picture. We can mark this central point anywhere on this grid. To reach this point, we have to move 4 units to the right. What about this point? From the central point, it is 2 units to the right and 1 unit up. Like this, we can find out the location of all these points. How can we remember all these values? Consider this point. It is 2 unit to the right and 1 unit up of the central point. We can write this shortly as 2, 1. 2 shows 2 units to the right and 1 shows 1 unit up of this central point. Then how can we represent this point? It is 3 unit to the right and 3 unit up. So this can be shown as 3, 3. What about this point? It is 1 unit to the right and 2 units up. So it is 1, 2. What about this point? It is not moved to the right or left. It is on the same line where the central point lies. So we can say it moves 0 unit to the right and 4 units up. So this can be written as 0, 4. Then how can we represent this point? From the central point it is 4 units to the right and 0 units so it can be shown as 4, 0. Now let us think how to represent the other points. Look at this point. From the central point, it is 1 unit to the left and 2 units up. Then how can we show this point? Can I show it by 1, 2? No. The point 1, 2 means 1 unit to the right and 2 units up. It is this point. Here this point is one unit to the left, just in the opposite direction. So let us denote it by minus 1, 2. Distances to the left of the central point are usually taken to be negative. It is a device to distinguish between left and right using numbers. Just like this, for points below the central point, the second number of the pairs are negative. Now, how can we represent this point? It is 3 units to the left and 3 unit up. So, it can be shown as minus 3, 3. And this point is 2 unit to the left and 1 unit up. That is minus 2, 1. What about this point? It is 4 units to the left and 0 units up. So, that is minus 4, 0. Now what about this point? It is 2 units to the left and 1 unit down. 
therefore it is minus 2 minus 1 what about this point 3 units to the left and 3 units downward so that is minus 3 minus 3 what about this point 1 unit to the left of the central point and 2 units downward from the central point so that is minus 1 minus 2 what about this point 0 unit to the right and 4 units downwards from the central point so this can be written as 0 minus 4 this point is 1 unit to the right and 2 units downward from the central point so it can be shown as 1 minus 2 what about this point 3 units to the right and 3 units downward so that is 3 minus 3 now what about this point 2 units to the right and 1 unit downwards so that is 2 minus 1 thus when we denote points by number pairs like this the first number shows the distance to the right or left and the second number shows distance up or down distance to the left and downward are to be taken as negative to see the numbers easily distances are marked on a horizontal and vertical line through the center these are the horizontal and vertical lines and the distances are marked on these lines so we have seen that every number on a plane can be expressed using a pair of numbers these numbers are called coordinates today let us learn the chapter coordinates we are going to discuss the first part of this lesson positions and numbers consider this picture suppose we have to draw it as it is how can we draw it it is enough to mark all these corners by number pairs and join them first of all we can draw a horizontal line and a vertical line through the center since this distance is 3 cm and this distance is 2 cm, we can mark points 1 cm apart on these vertical and horizontal lines like this. Now we can easily find the coordinates of each corner. What are the coordinates of this point? This is the center point and clearly it is 4 units to the right of the center point and 0 units above the center point so the coordinates are 4 0 what are the coordinates of this point it is 1 unit to the right and 1 unit above the center point therefore the coordinates are 1 1 what about this point it is 0 unit to the right of the center point and 4 units above the center point so the coordinates are 0 4 what are the coordinates of this point? It is minus 1, 1. What about this point? It is minus 4, 0. What are the coordinates of this point? It is 1 unit to the left and 1 unit below the center point. So the coordinates are minus 1, minus 1. What are the coordinates of this point? It is 0 unit to the right and 4 units below the center point. So the coordinates are 0, minus 4. What are the coordinates of this point? 1 unit to the right and 1 unit below the center point. So the coordinates are 1 minus 1. So we have marked the coordinates of all the corners. Now we can easily draw this figure. First of all, we can draw these mutually perpendicular lines like this. Now we can mark each point. This is the point 4, 0. Now 1, 1, 0, 4, minus 1, 1 minus 4 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 4 1 minus 1 once all the points are marked we can join them together like this now we got the figure the perpendicular lines we draw to mark the positions of points are called the axis of coordinates these are the axis of coordinates the horizontal line is called the x-axis and the vertical line is called y-axis. It is very easy to remember. When we write y, there is a small vertical line, this one. So you can connect y-axis with the vertical line and remember that 
y axis is the vertical line and the other that is the horizontal one is the x axis once the axes are drawn we denote the position of any point using a pair of numbers for example consider this point it is denoted by the number pair 21 this number pair is called the coordinates of this point the first number is called x coordinate and the second number is called y coordinate it is also very easy to remember this remember the english alphabets x comes first and then comes y in a similar way the first number is x coordinate and the second number is y coordinate to draw a picture we can draw the axis of coordinates anywhere and in any way we like but they should be mutually perpendicular for example see this picture we can take this point as the center point and we can draw x axis and y axis through this center point like this now what are the coordinates of the corners this point is 4 0 this is 4 2 this is 0 2 this is 0 0 what about this point it is 4 unit to the left and 0 unit up so the coordinates are minus 4 0 this point is 4 unit to the left and 2 units below the center point so the coordinates are minus 4 minus 2 and the coordinates of this point is 0 minus 2 now instead of taking this point as center we can consider this point as center and we can draw x axis and y axis through this point like this now what are the coordinates of the corners this point is 0 0 this is 4 0 this is 4 2 this is 0 2 what are the coordinates of this point it is 8 2 this is 8 4 and this is 4 4 after drawing the axis we must mark equally spaced points on them the spacing need not be 1 cm it can be any convenient distance here i have marked points 1 cm apart the same figure can be drawn with marking points half cm apart like this here one unit is taken as half cm once we have drawn the axis and marked the distances along them, how do we mark points using coordinates? That is, how do we mark a point when the coordinates of that point are given? For example, suppose we have to mark the point minus 3, 2. What is the x coordinate of the point minus 3, 2, minus 3, right? So, first of all, we can look at the x axis and find out where minus 3 is and draw a perpendicular through that point minus 3 like this now the y coordinate of the point minus 3 2 is 2 look at the y axis and find out where 2 is and through that point draw a perpendicular like this the intersecting point is the point minus 3 2 now how can we mark the point whose coordinates are 2 5 the x coordinate is 2 so let us draw a perpendicular through the point 2 y coordinate is 5 let us draw a perpendicular through the point 5 on the y axis the intersecting point is the point represented by the coordinates 2 5 now how can we mark the point minus 1 minus 4 now how can we mark the point minus 1 minus 2 x coordinate is minus 1 so draw a perpendicular through minus 1 on the x axis y coordinate is minus 2 so draw a perpendicular through minus 2 on the y axis the intersecting point is the point represented by the coordinates minus 1 minus 2 now how can we mark the point 3 minus 1 x coordinate is 3 so draw a perpendicular from 3 on the x axis y coordinate is minus 1 so draw a perpendicular through minus 1 on the y axis the intersecting point is the point represented by 3 minus 1 like this we can mark any point when the coordinates of that point are given let us think the reverse when the point is given how can we find its coordinates 
For example, consider this point. How can we find the coordinates of this point? First of all, we have to find the x coordinate. For that, let us draw a perpendicular from this point to the x axis and observe where it meets. It meets at 3. Therefore, 3 is the x coordinate of this point. Now, to find the y coordinate of this point, draw a perpendicular from this point to the y axis and observe where it meets. It meets at 4. Therefore, 4 is the y coordinate of this point. Therefore, the coordinates of this point are 3, 4. Now, consider this point. What are the coordinates of this point? Let us find x coordinate at first. For that, draw a perpendicular to the x axis. And we can see minus 3 is the x coordinate. To find the y coordinate, draw a perpendicular from this point to the y axis. And we can see 2 is the y coordinate. Therefore, the coordinates of this point are minus 3, 2. What are the coordinates of this point? Let us draw a perpendicular to the x axis. We can see minus 1 is the x coordinate. Now draw a perpendicular to the y axis and we can see minus 3 is the y coordinate. Therefore, the coordinates of this point are minus 1, minus 3. What are the coordinates of this point? First of all, draw a perpendicular to the x axis and we can see it meets at 5 on the x axis. Therefore, the x coordinate is 5. Now draw a perpendicular to the y axis and we can see minus 4 is the y coordinate. Therefore, the coordinates of this point are 5 minus 4. Now let us recall what we have learned today. Today we have seen that any point on a plane is represented by a pair of numbers and they are called coordinates. The first number is called x coordinate and the second number is called y coordinate. And to mark the coordinates we have drawn two mutually perpendicular lines. They are called the axis of coordinates. The horizontal line is called x axis and the vertical line is called y axis. Now a homework. Draw x and y axis and mark the points a 2 3, b minus 2 3, c minus 2 minus 3, d 2 minus 3. Draw the polygon connecting these points taken in order and name the polygon. We can discuss the remaining part in the next video. Till then, bye.